might walk in, you guys might remember uh, the horizontal evaporator coil here. We uh, took the old line set out and foamed it in. Foamed it on the wall lines. Intervals. And this is our new evaporator that I put in. And the vertical mount fans. And we relocated everything. Get our steps over here. So here we are on this one again. This might look familiar to some of you guys. Alright. Somebody looked at it yesterday. They said the charge looked okay, but the unit keeps cycling. Which makes me think that the charge is not okay. Man, things run so good for freaking months. I don't feel like doing this shit. Not today. Not on Saturday. I was supposed to be off today. Guess that's the bad thing about low temp. You gotta go. Offered them to look at it, and they don't want to. So whatever. Damn, yeah, I hope I have all my tools. <laughs> my fan's running backwards. All right. Awesome. All the screws are off. A leak right there. I don't see any liquid in there. It's off. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I'm thinking something's going on with the pressure controls. If you said the pressure was all right, I mean the guy that came out is a is a respectable fella, so. Not doubting him. Still gotta do this king valve. They decided not to go with the king valve after we did the evaporator because they thought that, that would solve their whole problem and we kept trying to tell them nope. Still gonna definitely want to change that, but they didn't want to do it. Shit. Keep this with my little short gauges, so if I gotta add some charge. I can uh, add charge without having to bring long hoses and shit up here. Just coming on these big roofs, I don't like carrying long, long hose gauges when I can just throw these fuckers on, especially on low temp shit. Oh, what the fuck is going on here, man? There's all this shit going on. All right, let's. Uh, all right, our cut in is it? right now so we got 50 minus 10 that's 40 so that's a little high we want to make that a little bit more so we're going to take this up to 30 somebody was fucking with these when I 
so 30 minus 50, it's 20 pounds. Let's go a little bit more. Well, that's going to be about 10 pounds that that's going to cut out, so it's going to pump down to 10 psi. Uh, it looks like our high head. Oh, that might be the whole problem right there, the high head. High head cut out is only at 400. This thing's going to hit 400 on a 100 degree day, easy. I think this pressure control might be fucked up. Oh, yep. Yeah. That thing's fucked. We're sitting out here. Oh, I forgot what this was. This 134 or 404. 404. Yeah, I mean, the static pressure looks great. So, let's fire it up and see what the fuck. I say that a lot, huh? I have another pressure control on the truck. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, suction line's coming down. See, it's about 105 out right now. This thing's already almost at 350 pounds. I mean, shit, man. This thing, yesterday was 117. That's when this went down. That thing hit 100 or 400 pounds, no problem yesterday. So that thing is, we need one that goes to like 450, 475. this run a little bit and yeah, the box is hot as fuck right now so our suction pressure is going to be pretty high so guys I'm just going to let this run and then as soon as I start doing anything else or if something weird starts happening I'll uh, come at you guys I'm going to check the amperage on the uh, on the fan motor and the cap make sure that that's not stopped like it's not uh, damaged like make sure it continues to run because if that goes out then that will cause a head pressure issue as well so I'll come back at you guys here in just a minute. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna be condemning this pressure control. The pressures didn't get anywhere near 400. I mean, it was 350 and it didn't go up any more than that. Um, it was starting to stabilize and the unit shut down. Um, so I took the, uh, the cover off here and between 14 and 11, I should have zero because power should be passing through and we have zero. So this side of the pressure control is good. The high side, between 21 and 22, we should have zero as well if that switch is closed. And you can see we got 216, the switch is open. So this thing is tripping prematurely. Um, it's, it's tripping out at like 350, so the little spring inside is probably weak. Um, that happens, I mean, this is an older machine, so. Um, yep, that's where it's at. So we're gonna get a new dual pressure control. This one's a Copeland. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can't find a place that will open up for us today and get a new pressure control. That's what's going on. This thing's just prematurely tripping out because that should be closed. The pressure's not even there. We're at 300 pounds right now, so this thing should come on. So I'm willing to bet at like 250 or something, this switch will close. And then it'll fire back up for a little bit. That should be zero, and we don't have zero. And here we're, oops, here we're good. That switch is still open, or I'm sorry, closed. This one's opened, and it shouldn't be. So we're gonna get a new pressure control. Yay. So I'm gonna pull the power. And, oh, this sucks, man. All right, well. I guess there's no time like the present. Let me go call this in and uh, see if I can't get one. Otherwise, I forgot to start recording this, but I got the new pressure control. So we're gonna switch that out right now. Here's my screwdriver. Um, I'm not gonna take the old uh, the old pressure control out. I'm just gonna leave it in because. This one's an older style, so it's not going to work. The uh, piping is not going to work, so what I'm going to do is I got uh, a couple of these adapters I'm going to put onto the suction and the discharge line, and then uh, just screw these into it and then set the pressures that way. I got a uh, 
the pressure control that I got goes to uh, up to 500 pounds, and then we'll just set it for 450. It's more appropriate. So that's what we're gonna do. And I had to put this one here because this is where the conduit will reach barely. Hopefully, if not, I can I can lower the box down a little bit more. Yeah, nice. single throw switch. This one was a double. seals in it somewhere. There were a whole bunch of seals blew out of this when I was using it once. So for what I, right now what I'm going to do is put this cap here because this one doesn't have a Schrader in it. And we're going to tighten this Schrader in because they ship these things not tightened in.
I just finished up here for the most part. Why, right, what's up? You gonna come by still? Yeah, I'm on the I'm at the clubhouse. You'll see my truck parked over there. Did you just do another call? Oh, damn. <laughs> They said I got a, I was talking to Pat, she's like, oh yeah, you got a bunch more after this call. I'm like, fuck. But yeah, I'm up here right now. I just got this fucker running right now, so I'm just watching the pressures real quick. All right, then. guys so we got it running again I think I'm definitely gonna add some refrigerant back in uh, no maybe I'm not let's see if it's 180 degrees out right now uh, I start putting my little cool towel on Look at that, we're already at 112 and I just turned the thermometer on. Uh, it smells like pancakes up here. Fucking hungry now. So we're at about 111 right now. 111. use just a tiny bit of charge and that's probably just what I let out of it when I had my little booger flop happen there I guess one of my uh, co-workers is on the way so I'm just kind of keeping an eye out because uh, I might have him throw me the refrigerant tank while he's down by my truck Seals blew out of this thing, man, but it does not work anymore, that's for sure. But nonetheless, it still works for tightening cores up and shit. Go back over to that other unit to uh, get my gauges off of it because I'm not going to be doing that motor repair today because train only supplied one of those motors inside any of their warehouses in the valley and I was putting the only one on will call but as I was putting it on will call somebody else from another company had ordered the same damn motor and now it's not available to me so oh well. We'll go check out the box. Charge don't look bad though, not at all. 